Hello everyone. Hi Siti. How have you been doing lately? Great, Mr. Aris. That's very good. Have you been able to practice what you have learnt since the last time we met? Yes, Mr. Aris. I'm getting better at making sentences from a given picture. I'm able to apply what we have taught me in school. That's very good, Siti. Today, we are going to learn more on writing. So what are we going to do today? Well, today, we are going to learn about information transfer. Information transfer? Yes, we are going to learn how to transfer information from a text to a given framework. What is a framework? Okay, Siti, in the UPSR examination, a framework comes in two forms. The first part is a table where you have to complete it by filling in the blanks. And the second part is where you will have to write a short paragraph. Now, both the table to be filled and the paragraph to be written are based on some given information, such as a notice, an advertisement, a brochure, a catalogue, and many other forms. You mean I have to read all this information first before answering the questions? Yes, that's right, Siti. Well, that sounds interesting. Uh, can you teach me how it is done? Of course, Siti. Let's get started. For this part of the question, the text can be presented in the form of an advertisement, a menu, a poster, a description, a label, a leaflet, or other types of presentations. Now, here's a sample question for us to do. First, read the information given carefully. What is it about, City? What about those cakes? Are they all the same? No, they are not. The three types of cakes are made up of different ingredients. Not only that, they are sold at different places at different prices too. That's very good. That's a lot of information you have about those cakes. Now, in answering your examination questions, you are required to complete the table by filling in the blanks with the information you have just gathered. Now, can you do that? Of course, Mr. Aris. Strawberry and raspberry. Cheese. Forty ringgit. Durian Chopped almond and cherries Immediately Jelly and mixed fruits Ice cream Fifty ringgit. Order one day before. That's excellent, City. You have done a good job. Now, to the next part of the question, which is writing a short comparison. Let's look at the question.
important tips to note are usage of adjectives and adverbs to describe and support your choice. Well now, Siti, do you understand what the question really wants? Yes, Mr. Aris. I am supposed to choose a cake to buy for my father's birthday. And I also have to give a reason why I choose that cake. So, how do you plan to do that? Well, based on the information given, I have to write sentences using the right words to support my choice. Tips on answering this question. An adjective is used to describe or modify a noun or pronoun to give more information about the size, shape, color, or age of a person, a place, or a thing. An adverb is used to modify or qualify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb to give more information about an action or the state of the action. Don't forget to pay attention to your tenses too. Your argument states facts. So use verbs to express possibility, intention, or ability. Examples of these model verbs are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, and would. Conjunctions too may be used to show contrast between two sentences or two clauses and also to emphasize your choice. Some examples of conjunctions are although, however, in addition, furthermore, and so on. Now, if you're ready, City, let's start making notes on your comparison. Okay, I would choose the ice cream cake. Why? Because my father loves to eat ice cream as a dessert. Uh, my father loves to eat fruits too. The shiny jelly and mixed fruit toppings on the cake is mouth-watering. And it's alright if it is a little expensive. I don't mind waiting for a day. If the cake is not available immediately. Alright, now that you've got all your points there, I believe you're ready to put them in a paragraph? Sure, Mr. Aris. Let's hear it. I would choose to buy the ice cream cake because ice cream is my father's favorite dessert. He will enjoy the mixed fruit topping as he loves fruits too. Cake looks so moth watering with the shiny jelly and mixed fruit topping. Mm, it may be more expensive, but it will be worth it. I do not find it troublesome to order the cake and collect it the next day. Hmm. How does that sound, Mr. Aris? Excellent, City. You put it very well. Now, can you read that again? I would choose to buy the ice cream cake because ice cream is my father's favorite dessert. He will enjoy the mixed fruit topping as he loves fruits too. The cake looks so mouth-watering with the shiny jelly and mixed fruit topping. It may be more expensive, but it will be worth it. I do not find it troublesome to order the cake and collect it the next day. Now, remember Siti, after writing down your answers, don't forget to read them and check for mistakes. I'll always read your comparison after you have completed it. Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. You will be assessed on your ability to transfer information accurately and to write a comparison. 
The comparison will be rated as excellent, credit, achievement, or low achievement, depending on the use of language and ability to express ideas. You can use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Ideas must be clearly expressed, well presented, and linked. Accurate use of spelling and punctuation is essential. Well, Siti, did you find today's lesson useful? Yes, Mr. Aris. I think I can write a better comparison now. That's great. I'm glad you learned something useful today. Now, let's recap some of the important points to remember when writing your comparison. Let's recap some of the important points. When writing your comparison, always give reasons why you have selected an item instead of the others. Use adjectives and adverbs to help you to describe and support your choice. Pay attention to your tenses. Use modal verbs and conjunctions in your sentences. Read your comparison after you have completed it and check for mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. Alright, that's all for now. Till we meet again, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.